Welcome to this video. Now, at the end of the last video, I hinted that the next video I was going to make was going to be this one right here. Now, I've been wanting to test a diffusion model since um, Claude Sonnet 3.7 was released, where people were overhyping these diffusion models. So what makes this model so special? Basically, it is five to 10 times faster than HiQ or 40 Mini which is absolutely crazy. That's super, super fast. Now, I don't know if this model will be any good, um, but it just seems interesting to be able to code at this speed. Now, I'm gonna be using one of my SOPs, like I always do. This is my benchmark SOP from the school community. The school community will be the first link in the description of this video. And we're just basically gonna jump straight into this test. So the first thing we do is we create a new Next.js project, which is 14.2.3 or something, 14.2.23. We'll call this Mercury Fast Boy, for obvious reasons. Then we'll search Rolls Royce on my computer. We'll copy this public folder like this. Press enter a few times like that. Okay, so that's now done. So we'll go to File, Open Folder, press M for Mercury. We'll look for Mercury Fast Boy. There it is. We'll paste the public folder like that or not. So we'll copy this again and then paste this. There we go. And then we'll go to Klein. We're using Klein because I always use Klein for this particular test, just so that it's it's fair, basically. And we'll search for Mercury, small code, beta, beta, whatever. Let's delete these system instructions because I don't need them right now. Make sure this is on the right model, which it's not. Then Mercury, and then go here, change this to Mercury. Now speed obviously does not mean quality. Trust me, I, I know that in my life, like I go way too fast on everything I do. And sometimes the quality of what I'm doing suffers. So speed isn't necessarily the most important thing, but it still will be quite interesting to see how this does. So let's find out. Okay, that was pretty quick. Um, just use placeholders. Okay, wow, that is super, super quick. Just use your big ass brain. No, use your brain. Okay, holy shit, this is fast. Okay, let's put act on. I really, I'm not, I'm not holding my breath here for like, you know, good quality, but holy shit is this thing fast. Okay, run npm install. No, no worries. I agree. Okay, install um, IL8N, fine. Okay, so we're going to leave this probably not for 10 minutes, but for two minutes and we'll see how it does. Okay, so this is officially the fastest build I've ever done. It's already running npm run build. It hasn't even coded anything yet. Please actually code stuff and stop just running npm run build, thanks. I mean, I appreciate the effort and I appreciate the, the role playing as the fastest possible builder, but you don't just have to run npm run build repeatedly just to prove it. Stop running npm run build. Right, are you actually gonna code anything? Are you going to code my project or just keep running npm run build? What, bro, stop just. Okay, so, um, yeah, I, I think we know where this is going, guys. Stop running npm run build. Every time I think it's not going to run npm run build, it just runs npm run build again. Write some goddamn code. Write some code. Stop n running npm run build. Oh my god. Right. Well, I mean, okay. So look, because this isn't working, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to see how it does with something else. I'm going to say, make me a home page for a golf directory website in HTML and CSS. I'm just going to do this in the chat in the front here. Uh, make it more complicated and make it all one page. 
Okay, it said make it all one page. It just didn't. Make it all on one code snippet. I mean, it's very, very quick. But like I said at the beginning, like speed is not the most important thing in a project. Let's see what this looks like. So W3, try editor, run. It's, nice. it's, it's pretty terrible. It's pretty terrible, guys. Yeah, it's a fast model. Great. Congratulations. You've managed to make a fast Fiat 500. Good job, guys. I mean, I, yeah, this is pretty basic. Um, not amazing. Doesn't look like a good homepage at all. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, guys. It, it's fine. Like, cool. It's a fast model, but it just, it's not. It's not that good. It, it's not really worth our time. I was really hoping this was going to be a fast model that would actually be worth our time because I really think that's what's missing. What might be cool is having this as like the thing that writes code and having something else that like tells it what to do, right? Because at least this thing can write code very, very quickly. So there probably is a use case for this. I might not be seeing it right now. Super, super fast. It's called a diffusion model. Very, very interesting. But yeah, in its current format, I think this is probably just a 32B model or something. And it, it's, I wouldn't say it's as good as GPT-40 Mini, to be honest with you. I'd be surprised if it was as good as Claw 3.5 PiQ as well. It got really, really stuck here. Like, it had no idea what the hell it was doing. It used 13,000 context window without even, you know, coding a single, well, it coded one single uh, file, the next.config.mgs, MJS. Overall, not impressed. Not a very good model. Why are you just building repeatedly? I mean, maybe this is it role-playing as the fastest model in the world by saying, oh, look, I'm done already. NPM run build, NPM run build. See, now on the benchmark, I am officially the fastest model, even though what I've built is nothing. I haven't built anything. <laughs> it's just running NPM run build. This is ridiculous, guys. I don't know why people release things like this. Like, at least make it intelligent. Like, please. It needs a base level of intelligence to be useful. Let me know how you guys experienced this model. I wouldn't waste my time, personally. Shit seems really, really, really bad. Yeah, it's fast, but it's like herd her fast is not exactly like a good thing. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This was just one of those videos where I wanted to quickly make something interesting. I hope this saves you some time and lets you know that it's probably not worth using unless you have a use case for really, really fast. Um, which, you know, if you have a chatbot or something, maybe that's what you need. You need super, super fast responses. But yeah, for me, coding and stuff, this isn't going to cut it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. And as usual, I will see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.